What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is Range Day, bro, here with Energetic Armaments. We're gonna be talking about the Peak 30 silencer today, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the specs on this Peak 30 silencer here, the weight, the size, how it sounds, and the host gun setup, I first wanted to take a moment to ask you guys to please like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos if you enjoy them. Any kind of comments you guys have, any feedback on our products, we wanna hear it from you guys. We wanna make the best silencers possible for our audience, so please let us know what you wanna see next or what you'd like to see us come out with as far as accessories, new products, improvements to our current lineups. Just let us know down there in the comments below. All right, guys, so first and foremost, let's talk about what the intention was for the Peak 30 silencer. So the Peak 30 silencer is actually made to bridge the gap between the Vox S silencer line, which is made from an extremely expensive but durable C300 material. They make rocket motor casings out of that stuff. It's very durable. It has a very high temperature to strength ratio, but the Peak 30 is no slump either, but it just offers a more cost-effective option for those shooters who don't require the extreme temperature and cartridge ratings that the Vox S is built for. It is built to optimize suppression and back pressure on both supersonic and subsonic rounds as we tested out here today on the Sig Spear 300 Blackout. And like all of our other centerfire suppressors, it features the same Bravo hub compatible mount on the back, so you can put whatever kind of mount you want. We do choose to direct thread here. We do offer a tapered direct thread adapter for you guys if you're interested in that for the Sig barrels and the Q barrels that are out there. But that's where this can sits in our lineup and it's become very popular thanks to every single one of you out there. So getting into some of the specs on the finish of the silencer, the core and all parts of the Peak 30 are black nitride finish. The nitride process chemically changes the outer layer of the steel, greatly increasing the hardness but keeping the core tough. Getting into the design of the Peak 30, the core of the Peak 30 is a five baffle design laser welded from the 17-4 stainless steel heat treated to H900 condition. The baffles feature a tapered leading edge and porting that optimizes back pressure and suppression for both supersonic and subsonic rounds. The Peak 30 comes in at a featherweight 11.9 ounces with a direct thread adapter. It measures in at 6.4 inches in length with the direct thread adapter and the maximum diameter is 1.5 inches at the serial ID ring. This can also features our serial ID ring like all of our center fire suppressors do. This makes warranty claims and repairs extremely easy. This is the serialized item so if you have a damaged item for whatever reason you could send it back to us. We'll drill out the swage point, unthread the serial ID ring from the core, thread it onto a new core, reswage it, and ship it back out the door, essentially getting you a completely new suppressor minus the serial ID ring. The front cap, as well as the direct thread adapter back here, is made from a 17.4 H1150 stainless steel of US origin. As I already mentioned, the back of the silencer is Bravo Hub compatible, so whatever your QD method of choice that you've made your identity, you can go ahead and adapt it to this can. It does ship with a 5 8 by 24 standard for a 30 cal suppressor direct thread adapter. This silencer is a 7.62 millimeter bore or 30 cal, and it is rated for 5.56, 308 Winchester, 300 Blackout, 6 and 6.5 Creedmoor and 300 Winchester Magnum with no barrel length restrictions under 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It is also full auto rated for limited firing schedules. It does feature our removable end cap and you can replace it with our wipe end cap if you do so desire. But we also offer flash hider end caps in both 5.56 and 7.62. So now that we've covered the specs, guys, let's talk about what comes in the box. Obviously, you're gonna get the silencer itself. It's also gonna include that direct thread adapter. It'll also come with a multi-tool wrench, one for the direct thread adapter in the back and one for the front cap here that is removable. We also ship all of our silencers with the Vox blocks which is an extremely convenient tool to use when you have a vice at home. It allows you to work on your silencer without marring it up or damaging it and not having to use two wrenches in the field like a lot of other manufacturers use. And besides that, it's gonna include a packet of anti-seize, decals, and instructions. All right, guys, so now that we've gotten to the nitty gritty on the specs, let's just talk about how this thing performs. And I gotta say, it performed phenomenally well. This Sig Spear LT chambered in 300 blackout, absolutely loved it. This is the host gun we use throughout the review on the suppressor, and it performed phenomenally well. I will say we did not have to go to the increased gas setting on subsonic or supersonic to have it function reliably, but at no point was I getting choked out by gas. Of course, this is a short stroke gas piston system, but I was very pleased with the reliability that this can offer on this platform because not all cans will give you that reliability with 300 blackout. Efficiency is at the core of everything that Energetic Armament does, and this can is no different. Throughout the review, we put about 500 rounds of supers and subs through the silencer, and it sounded phenomenal through all 500 rounds. The tone is a low, even tone that did not change as the silencer heated up, and at no point did I experience excess flash or blowback from the silencer. For its size, for its weight, I'm confident in saying you wouldn't be able to find another suppressor that outperforms this thing, especially for the cost. It is an extremely high value product, as well as the fit and finish, and everything is done in-house, here in the United States. Now, before we wrap this video up, I know a lot of you will be asking, what is the setup on the host gun? So let's just go over that. We'll go blast end to ass end here as we always do. Starting up here, obviously we've talked 
at length about the Peak 30. It is using our direct thread taper adapter directly onto the SIG barrel. So that is a pretty nifty way to keep it a lightweight system, as well as keeping the length, overall length down as well, and ensuring that you don't have a system that's gonna back off on you under higher firing schedules. Now moving back from there, we do have a Surefire Vampire Mini Light here. So it has white light as well as IR. We also have a Steiner CQBL IR and Viz Laser here up top for night vision hunting. Moving back from there with the EOTech EXPS 3-1. It is a single dot reticle, which I really enjoy. And it is also wearing the 100 Concepts ARD or Kill Flash in the front. That is being raised up by the ADM riser here. I forget which one it is actually called, what model it is, but it has the titanium levers. That thing has been phenomenal for me from day one. Also in the back here, we have the Samson Manufacturing BRE, which is the bufferless receiver extension that is bolted up to the pick section on the back of the Sig Spear LT. That thing has also been phenomenal. It is featuring the FDE finish. As you can tell, this thing is all tanned out. I really love that. Moving down from there, we have the HRF Concepts Magwell. Really great Magwell. Love those guys. They make good products and it does really help under night vision, especially with your reloads. We have a Geisley SDG3 trigger in here. So super dynamic three gun trigger. Phenomenal trigger as well. And everything else on this rifle is completely stock. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap up the video for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. This was a super fun video to make, especially the intro. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let us know what future products you wanna see. Let us know what kind of attachments you wanna see us come out with, so on and so forth down in the comments below. Once again, thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. Have a great day, and I'm looking forward to the next one.